Labour Party's vice presidential candidate Yusu Dati Baba Ahmed, while speaking at a press conference in Abuja, stated that it is not in his position to tell the APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu that he is sick, pointing out that if he feels he is not sick, then he should come to the battlefield. Yusuf Dati added that Nigeria is greater than any political ambition of a candidate and if Tinubu feels that he is sick, he should rest. He, however, referred to the quote of former president Good Luck Ebele Jonathan, where he stated that his personal ambition is not worth the blood of any Nigerian. According to him, Bola Metinubu claims to be a godfather. He can continue to be a godfather if Nigeria, Nigeria's presidency is not for him. It is not in our place, Peter B and myself, to tell him that he is sick. Please go and relax. And if you think you can be our guest. Come to the battlefield. We will beat you. And even in doing that, we will show respect to you. When we beat you, we will take you back home and show you how we will handle Nigeria. Okay? <laughs> Me, I don't even know when it has become a taboo. It has become a criminal offense or it, is, it has become a distress. Uh, you know, it's disrespectful for somebody to say, I want to do this. I want, let me showcase, let me come and show you. I need to be proud of what I've got. This is not a matter of a come and carry blocks because they will tell you it is all about intellectual. The supporters of a Tinubu, they will tell you, oh, they said Tinubu does not have strength. It's not all about going to the astral to go and carry blocks or to go and be a bricklayer or to be a wrestler. No, it is all about intellect. It is what it gets in the brain. Now they are calling you now. Come and tell us what you have upstairs. It becomes a problem again. This is not physical battle. We are talking about intellectual battle. That is what they are calling him to do. They have made us to understand that he has the, inte uh, the uh, intellectual capacity. Then why is he running? Me, I've never seen this kind of a thing. That is when you now be telling you that, uh, oh, it is not constitutional. What are you telling me? Must it be constitutional? You want to talk it to... You is it constitutional to campaign? You can decide not to campaign. You only just to give, give out the information that you want to run for presidency or you want to run for governor or governorship or any position of your choice. Then you go and sit down. Nobody's going to hold you. Nobody's going to hold you whether you are doing campaign or not. So, but it is the one of the it is the <laughs> ways of selling yourself out there. You they will tell you, oh, you know that uh, it's not everybody that are on social media. It is not everybody that. Uh, uh, knows debate. It is not everybody that uh, whatever. Even those who have won debate that they are, they don't even win election. Excuse me. What are you telling me? Are you guys okay? That is the reason why you need to meet people at different levels. Those who are uh, those who are educated, you meet them at that level. Those who are uh, lower kida, you meet them at that level. Then why is it that they move from one state to another to go and solicit or to go and make campaign? That the people should vote for them. You should have just be on, you know, just make a general statement and say, okay, everybody is aware that I'm running. Then there's no need for you to go and be meeting. Uh, you go and meet the, go to the palaces, you go to the churches, you go to the mosques, you go to different places, you go to the market. They are telling us that they want to do a one-on-one, door-to-door -on -one, -door campaign. Why are you doing all of that? Everything must be put into consideration. Those who are going to be listening to debate, let them listen to it. And as you are doing that, you are projecting yourself even outside of the country. People now know and people begin to take note. Other countries, because you're not going to be dealing with dealing only in Nigeria. You're going to be dealing with other other leaders outside the outside the world. They are seeing everything. What are you guys telling me? They will tell you that uh, those who have uh, won a uh, uh, debate that they don't usually win election. Does that take the fact the the fact or the truth that the you must come and debate? You come and tell us what you want. You do it in a local way. You do it in a more sophisticated way that is to tell you that the person must be all rounder ability to be able to talk to the uh, less privileged ability to be able to talk to the to who is who the intellectuals the the educated one the illiterate one ability to be able to bring people together that is what we are talking about you have to satisfy everything you can't say uh, uh, because there's somebody uh, those who you perceive to have won debate that they don't usually win election does that take the fact that they shouldn't come and debate i don't even understand the way people are reasoning you are reasoning like uh, animals those who are, re are reasoning like animals because when people who are sensible hear that kind of say what are you telling us 
ability to be able to reach out to the children, reach out to the children, reach out to the youth, and reach out to the elderly ones. That is that is what makes you a unique person. That is to tell you and let people know that you have a the, the quality leadership. That you have what it takes to be a good leader. What are they telling us? But he has the ability to go and stand in the presence of a uh, people who will not be able to ask questions. Not this uh arrangy uh, town hall meeting that they are, they are putting on. If it is to do rally, if it's to do campaign, if it's to do debate, if you call it a what do they call it? Town hall meeting. You have to do everything. Everything you must do. Uh -uh. This uh, job no be no be for no be quick now. What are you talking about? So for the fact that uh, you are seeking for a job and you are writing a company that you are looking for a job. So does it mean you are not going to write other companies that you want a job, that you just want... Uh, uh, what, what are these guys? What are they calling Nigerians for? No, if Tunubu, they tell, they've told us that uh, it's intellectually balanced, that it doesn't need physical strength. Now they are calling you, come and do that which you are supposed to do. You are still, you are still running, you are telling us that uh, it is not constitutional. Nobody can force anybody. They are forcing you. They, they, Nigerians are forced, they must force you. Then if you cannot do it, then the, 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 the ball is in the court of the Nigerian people, whether they are going to vote for you. Continue to say that nobody can force you. You want to get a job. You say they, you don't want to admit or you want to agree to the people you are seeking help from. Okay, well, people should continue. Hmm. Well, you have earlier said it that you don't speak on earth status of people because it is God that gives earth. It's surprising this is coming from you. Hmm, Yoruba man. But he, he say, you know, they talk say whether he they say, but if he don't say he okay, he's, go, he's not abusing him now. What what has he said? What are they, I say, oh, uh, that he said. He said he, he's not talking, he's not even, he's not his own of his business because people are saying he's sick. He you no know, believe saying he's sick. If you know say you know they're sick, make it come. <laughs> come on for my friends. Make better breeze blue, Jerry. The fear of Tinubu is the beginning of wisdom. He best way they make it. fact, somebody laugh. In fact, it's be fear, fear, we see fear as in how. I know they fear Tinubu, but I get wisdom like two people. So that it has turned to you see her fight. Imagine a VP aspirant vomiting nonsense. What is vomiting nonsense? What are you saying? <laughs> what nonsense? What about Tinubu saying that a calling will be named is a disgrace to him? No, they don't go see that one now. I bet me I go see that. This has always been the be the when the grandpa leaves his responsibility and started jumping with the children. There's a perfect saying, I'm waiting for Tinubu dogs to answer. Which him death you die before him. Fulani don't even have mercy before. I just hope you will not kill Obi to continue. Hmm. He might be the next president after Peter Obi. You tribe by, by God. We are not interested in a tribe. Okay. Someone who can make but somebody who can make Nigeria work again. Your other was a Fulani, better Fulani than Buhari. And I'm willing to vote a Fulani who has the interest of Nigeria at heart than my own tribe. Hmm. For me, Tinubu is too hold for Nigeria. I may ask INEC to allow APC to do another election. That is not a, it's not possible. They, will, they have to, they have to bear it. They have to bear the consequences of their choice. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.